Hi, my name is Dave Penton from Fluid Dynamics, and welcome to this week's edition of the Summer Series on Watershape University. So for part two of the Summer Series on this same pool, uh, a couple of different details that we did here. Uh, if you remember in the other episode, um, we talked about how we keep water in this basin, even though it is not carrying the entire surge capacity. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead and tune in and, uh, and you can learn how we do this detail and when it's an appropriate detail. Uh, but here's a different, uh, another situation we had here. Again, I, uh, if you remember from the other vi video, um, this pool sits over a basement area. And in this one area of the basement, we actually had a very high section of the ceiling of the basement. And so we could not actually even get the depth that we had there, but we wanted to still have this infinity detail. And just for architectural reasons, we wanted to be able to have this nice catch basin here. So um, this area needed to be raised up higher than the rest of the infinity edge catch basin and so what we ended up doing was let me come around here um, we simply created this little weird detail and the this allows us to keep some water in there uh, and then this tile just angles slightly up and allows us to drop the water into here there's no noise. Sorry for the uh, debris uh, serviceman is due in here today. But there's no noise. There's no significant overflow. There's no anything here. Um, but you can see, had we just left this flat, we would have ended up with a situation where this whole area would have been dry. And that would not have uh, uh, achieved the look that we were trying to go for here. Uh, so we just created that little bit of an edge drop there to allow us to have the visual of having water down here at the end, um, even though we did not have the depth in this area. Let's go over here and look at this corner edge detail. And again, I did not do the tile work here. We built the pool, but not the tile work. So uh, please excuse some of, the, some of the challenges you may see here. Um, one of the issues uh, you can see is there sometimes gets to be some splash out here. Now this is, um, this detail was cut in later and they just have not gotten it around to cleaning the tile here. But we created this little um, recess detail in the tile in order to capture that water going all the way down. And um, it, this keeps the water from migrating laterally out here onto these, uh, it's actually a, a white concrete poured in place wall. So this is a real nice uh, detail to use when you're trying to keep the water from migrating laterally. Basin work properly is that you have to run a vent line. And if you look over here in the corner, um, we have a air vent line here that allows us to break the siphon. So this is a highly critical detail that needs to be implemented because otherwise with these little trap details, what you can end up with is you can actually end up just siphoning all of the water out of this basin when it is drained. And so uh, you need to find a way to bring an air line over here. And you can see from the pictures that that air line doesn't need to be very big. And so uh, we, we just ran that air line, picked up each one one of these terminations. We don't have to run um, airlines for each gravity drop uh, or each of the trap details. We just run a single gravity or a single air vent line um, through the structure and then around here and just terminate it there. I'll get in real, real close here. And uh, you can see it does make a little bit of noise, uh, but even when I get here, I'm about seven or eight feet away, I can't really hear it at all. Um, the, 
it's, it's not a significant amount of noise. And we did terminate this over on the other side of the pool as well. So we have one on each end and it's all looped together. And uh, again, that's a very critical detail. If you don't have that air vent detail, when the entire system turns off, it will simply siphon out and go down to the infinity basin or the catch, the detach search tank, um, which sort of defeats the whole purpose. Thank mm -hmm. you.